The southwest of Morocco is characterized by its barren landscapes. 250 kilometers west of Marrakech, argan trees are cultivated in the dry earth of the province of Tafedna. These trees, which grow only in very few regions, can manage almost entirely without water. Their kernels are pressed to obtain the valuable argan oil. This is used to refine many Moroccan specialities, such as tagine with goat meat, grilled skewers, couscous, and aubergine salad. Halima Erachidi moved here from the city six years ago. Many people's livelihoods depend on the argan trees, also that of shepherd Brahim Ushen. August is the high point of the harvest. Halima and the women of the village are on the fields every day gathering the fruits of the trees. These trees are among the oldest and rarest plants on earth. During the months long dry periods, they draw their water at depths of up to 40 meters. If there's no rain for a longer time, they simply stop growing. <laughs> the women have brought argan oil, honey, butter, and bread with them for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Halima is the only member of the group who didn't grow up in the region. For many years, she worked as a hotel receptionist in Casablanca. <laughs> In the harvesting season between June and September, they cover many kilometers every day at temperatures of between 30 and 45 degrees Celsius in the shade. Women all over Morocco are joining forces in cooperatives for argan oil production. This makes their work more efficient. Halima has been running the local cooperative for the last five years, and she's the only woman in the village who can drive a car. 
The village of Ushen is situated on a plateau. As the crow flies, it's only three kilometers to the Atlantic. Halima's pink house with its yellow courtyard can be seen from afar. While her colleagues are busy in the workshop, Halima prepares a warm aubergine salad with tomatoes and African zucchini for them all to share. Halima moved to the countryside six years ago for love. Her husband is quite a few years older and already has grown children and grandchildren. Halima's step-grandson Ayub lives next door and after school sometimes helps her with the chores. Every family in the village has its own field of argan trees. 16-year-old Ayub is carrying the fruits from the family trees to the house. On the way, he meets his uncle, Brahim. <laughs> the sacks weigh 25 kilograms, the harvest of three to four trees. For the aubergine salad, Halima fries the vegetables in olive oil. Argan oil should not be allowed to get too hot. She seasons the salad with turmeric, cumin, and ginger. <laughs> Many houses in the neighborhood have no running water. Underground collecting tanks serve as water reservoirs. Halima's house is modern and has electricity and a water connection. Nevertheless, she uses the collected water for cooking. <laughs> The village can only be reached via a gravel road. 
The next largest city, Smimu, is 25 kilometers away. Ushen has almost 300 inhabitants, all of whom live from the production of argan oil. The oil is made by hand. The task of production is left to the women. First, the skin of the dried fruit, inedible for humans, is separated from the kernels. The women then free the almond-like kernels from the nut, which is where the oil comes from. Today, Halima has an unusual ingredient for her salad. To find it, she drove two hours to Agadir. It's time for a lunch break. <laughs> the men in the region make their living mostly as fishermen or goat herds. Halima's stepson Brahim is no exception. The only thing that's not eaten is the nut. Back in the cooperative, the women are roasting the kernels. This drives out the bitter substances and gives the kernels a nutty taste. They then grind them using traditional grindstones. Adding water all the time, the women knead the paste until the oil begins to separate. Gradually, the consistency changes. The oil is rich in vitamin E, which is good for the immune system. Mm. 
الدوار والو وري لي تسمي وري لي الدوار لي شمعات وري لي السخونيه ولا ما تيغل والو فسير جاي The solid paste is inedible for humans and is fed to the animals. It takes the women around half a day to extract one liter of oil from almost four kilos of kernels. Hence the high price of between 50 and 200 euros per liter. <laughs> Brahim is cooking the evening meal for the entire family. Bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> Today, he's being helped by his nephew, Ayub. Ayub! Where are you? 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 Where Brahim marinades the goat meat in coriander, parsley, onions, a mix of spices, and argan oil. The ingredients for the tagine are arranged in layers in the clay pot from which the dish takes its name. Brahim adds plenty of parsley and raw onions. In the clay oven, he lights a fire of argan branches. <laughs> The condensed water runs into the dish before rising again as steam. The food stews in its own juices. Everyone gathers in Halima's yard for the meal. Today, her husband is here too. For the past few weeks, he's been in hospital for hip surgery. The next morning, and Halima is meeting with her colleague Isha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Halima wants to develop a peeling using local herbs and the waste product of their work. There's still valuable oil in the paste, so why not use it to make a cosmetic product? Argan oil is a refining ingredient in shampoos and creams, but using the paste would be something new. Wow. Tonight, Halima wants to test her creation out on her colleagues. Ayub often wanders the fields on his donkey. He still has one year of school to complete. Then he wants to become a fisherman or shepherd, like most men in the village. He's gathering branches from the argan trees. He'll be grilling some goat liver. Like a good wine, the fruits of the argan trees develop different flavors depending on the climate. The Atlantic air makes for a fresh and mildly salty oil. Ideal for the classic Friday dish, couscous. The women of the cooperative meet at Halima's home to cook together. <laughs> وكذلك الفرحة ديال العائلة هو من اللي كيتجمعوا كاملين وكيتجمعوا العائلات كاملين شي كتنقي الخضرة شي كتجيب الماء شي مهم كتكون فيه يد الجماعة كيتعاونوا عليه الناس باش يديروه باش كيجي بنين وكيخوفي ذاك الغلة ديالهم ديال الأريان To go with the couscous the mutton is cooked with grated tomatoes paprika powder turmeric, cinnamon and argan oil in the lower, larger pot The vegetables will be added later The meat is pre-cooked and is now stewing together with the vegetables. The couscous is repeatedly loosened up with a little water and argan oil. It's steamed in the upper pot by the meat and vegetable stew that's cooking below. In Morocco, Friday is a day off, which means cooking instead of working. This morning, Halima marinated the goat liver in coriander, parsley and argan oil. Now she wraps it in sheep fat that has been drying for a few days on the clothesline.
كي وكي يحفظ ربي ارغان هو الورث ديالنا هو ولدنا هو خونا هو رجلنا كنعيشوا به حياتنا لحقاش نفعنا في صحتنا ونفعنا في تاتنا ونعفنا في جيبنا After the meal, it's time for the women to test Halima's herbal peeling.